Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will study a new concept that is list of experiment of class 10th. So let us study the practical number 1. Practical number 1 studying the properties of acid and base with litmus papers or litmus solution. Second with zinc metal and third one solid sodium carbonate. So let us start. Here is the equipment which I arranged on this table. I will give you a brief introduction about this experiment. So I have collected as per first the title of the article itself studying the properties of acid and base. So I took bottle of acid which is hydrochloric acid, dilute hydrochloric acid. Second the base which we need to prepare just solution sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide we will prepare the solution of sodium hydroxide I took with help of pipette with help of pipette I took few 40 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid in this beaker I will keep here in front of you now we will prepare sodium hydroxide solution as a base solution first ok let us prepare the basic solution of sodium hydroxide. So, I will take distilled water to prepare solution. I will add little distilled water or demineralized water you can say. Yes. Now, we will add little flakes of sodium hydroxide. Already, I close, removed the lid of those because to make easy. So, I will take little flakes of sodium hydroxide. These are the flakes of sodium hydroxide. We will add. This is spatula. I added uh, flakes of sodium hydroxide with distilled water. Stir it with help of glass rod to prepare a fine solution of basic solution sodium hydroxide. Yes, now it is ready. We will keep few minutes. To that, I will introduce this is test tube holder, this is test tube stand with test tubes, tongue or dropper, pusher, pipette, and we have three to check with these property of acid and base. A respective solution has prepared now. Now we are testing these to study the property of acid and base with litmus paper. Here it is the red litmus paper, strip is there, blue litmus paper with strips. Second, zinc metal. Can you see here? These are the zinc granules, zinc metals are there, students. We'll check with these zinc granules. Right? Next, here the solid sodium carbonate and hydrous means flakes are there here also yes we'll add with respect to one two three with respective acid and respective base and we'll study a result of experiment so here let us check the both solutions are prepared with the solution acid already i took with help of pipette basic solution just i prepared in front of you which is base I took acid as dilute hydrochloric acid, base solution as sodium hydroxide. So let us study students what happens when acid reacts with litmus papers or litmus solution. So we will check directly with help of papers. I will dip a strip of litmus papers. Yes. So first we will check acid.
can you see the change of color see the blue litmus paper turns into red so first when a litmus solution or litmus papers turns in the property of acid the acid changes colors of blue litmus to red this is the result we will check the property of base this is red litmus paper we will dip it into base check the red litmus paper turns into color blue right then the property with a what is the property with a a study the properties of acid and base on the basis of their reaction with litmus paper so acid turns a red blue litmus to red basis changes red litmus to blue here it is the clear observation in front of you yes you want to see one more time see here blue completely changed blue yes here it is completely changed blue to red right so first property we studied successfully second what happens when acid and zinc granules reacted what happens zinc granules reacted with base right option b we are studying zinc metal reacts with acid and base we we'll study their property the list of property and what happens as we will study afterwards i will explain on the board as a result okay let's start second experiment study the property of acid base with zinc metals what happens acid reacts with zinc granules or zinc metal what happens base reacts with zinc metal we'll check in front of you here the dilute hydrochloric acid solution is there and prepared sodium hydroxide solution is there we'll take both the solutions with little amount in test tube and we will introduce here i kept some zinc granules in the watch glass you can see here yes here these are the zinc granule species we will keep those one by one so i will take one test tube we will add little hydrochloric acid dilute hydrochloric acid can you see 10 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid is there in this test tube we'll add few amount of zinc granules yes yes we'll hold it here can you see this students here a reaction is occurring let us see the gas gas is occurring here what happens zinc reacting with hydrochloric acid forms hydrogen gas form hydrogen gas can you see here this is the reaction got it what is acid and zinc granules react zinc reacts with acid gives see here the gas releasing from base is what hydrogen gas and inside we will find zinc chloride salt yes the first action it is okay let us study what happens one more test to i'll add two drops of sodium chloride sorry sodium hydroxide solution in test to see can you see this here the sample of sodium hydroxide solution again we will add two drops of zinc granules in this let us see what happens see here any reaction yes it takes a reaction we need to keep this again the bubbles are coming out from that zinc granules here it prepares sodium zincate it gives sodium zincate plus hydrogen gas yes we'll study this we'll keep as it is 
yes see still action is going on here can you see this now the third will check c option what happens with the property of acid and base react with sodium carbonate solid sodium carbonate okay let us check the sample of solid sodium carbonate with respective acid and base and we'll check it help of another two test tube by taking with acid and solid sodium carbonate in another test tube solid sodium carbonate with basic solution of sodium i'll take one test tube now we'll add a sample of solid sodium carbonate already i took little sample in a water glass can I, you can see here this is solid sodium hydroxide okay i'll add this one with help of spatula a sample of sodium hydroxide yes you can take directly from that and we'll add little acid first let's see acid see it turns into milky color and see it it turns milky color and gives up what is result we'll check on board a result acid sodium solid sodium carbonate it gives respectively students a gas as evaluating from this reaction this is sodium salt water plus carbon dioxide gas will evaporate from this reaction right so the same reaction will check what happens with basic solution with solid sodium carbonate okay i'll take one more test tube in front of you here we'll add little sample of solid sodium Again, we'll add amount of sodium hydroxide into this test tube. Observe here. Any reaction occurring in this test tube? See here, students. No reaction occur because a solid sodium carbonate settled in the bottom, and the solution of sodium hydroxide is as it is. Why? Here, no reaction occurs. Why? Because Sodium hydroxide is also a basic solution which I prepared, and already sodium solid sodium carbonate is also a family of base. Both are alkaline, hence no reaction takes place here. Got it? This is third. So successfully we studied three students. What studying the properties of acid and base with respectively litmus papers, with zinc granules, and with sodium. carbonate these result i'll explain with uh, a reaction takes place with acid base and their properties with litmus paper with zinc granules and with solid sodium carbonate in form of reactions let's go to board okay students as you saw in the experiment we'll move the result of that experiment so first the properties of acid and base check with option a with litmus solution or with papers the litmus paper will take those are blue and red now if you check as you saw in experiment the acids a sample of acid shows with the litmus of blue it gives the change the color of blue to red here for sake of easy convenience i made with the color so please remember the property of acid changes with litmus paper change the color of blue to red next the same property of base the base we took in experiment that is sodium hydroxide so base is of sodium hydroxide change the litmus paper from red to blue got it so to study the property of acid and bases with the option a litmus paper we took instead of solution with litmus paper the strip of blue and red changes the result 
acid change to the color of blue to red and the basis gives change the color of red to blue got it then we we'll move to option b The same properties of acid and the properties of bases with B option, what happens when zinc metal reacts with acid and bases? So let us see a result. When zinc metal reacts with acid, means take a two molecule of HCl acid solution and when we drop a few granules of zinc metal in it, it gives respective salt plus hydrogen gas. As you know general formula, when acid reacts with metal, it means the acid reacts with metal gives metal salt plus hydrogen gas. The same result react with zinc metal with acid, it gives acid solution. When reacts with zinc granules, it gives salt plus hydrogen gas. The same students, if the same zinc metal reacts with base is here two molecules of solution of Yes, basic solution which is sodium hydroxide here and the same granules of zinc metal when we add these two as you saw in the experiment it gives a product of sodium zinc as a salt of sodium and respectively hydrogen gas so it is second result we will move with third ok let's start studying the properties of acid and base with third option solid sodium carbonate okay what happens when solid sodium carbonate reacts with acid and base let's study the property of solid sodium carbonate reacts with acid so molecular formula of sodium carbonate is NaCO3 which is react with two molecules of acid that is dilute hydrochloric acid it gives salt water and carbon dioxide here two molecules of salt Sodium chloride, water, along with the gases. See the physical state also I mentioned student. Solid sodium carbonate reacts with aqueous dilute sodium uh, sorry, hydrochloric acid. It gives aqueous salt, liquid of water, gaseous state of carbon dioxide. The same what happens when solid sodium carbonate reacts with bases. Here a point to remember, it is very interesting that this reaction does not occur because both are basic in nature are alkaline. It means sodium, the basic bicarbonate, sodium carbonate as well as sodium hydroxide, both are basic in nature. Yes, so this reaction occurs only sodium bicarbonate with sodium hydroxide. It gives again respectively salt, water and carbon dioxide. Got it? These are the results we made with the practical number 1 with experiment we did already and these are the results. Thank you.